enter the unknown. Whether you jump or walk slow, drag your feet or maybe crawl, it will always kind of feel like walking into a cafeteria when you were 12. As you enter in the noise of chaos, thoughts and feelings flood your mind. Where will I sit? Where is my place, my people? Where is best for me? Who do I know? They swirl as your heart beats steady, steady, planning 10 steps ahead. Just play it cool and trust yourself. Some will stay searching for someone or something, anything that they know well, so they will feel more at ease, feel more included. This is from the fear of the unfamiliar, comfort zones, possibilities of being alone, sticking out, causing thoughts of being thought of as something, illusions. But some will embrace this and allow it to be an opportunity to live in the new. They sit wherever the flow goes. There's no fear of what would happen if they were with strangers. New trees, new points, energy guides us invisibly and we land exactly where we're meant to be. When we enter the unknown, we allow the infinite possibility wheel spin and we get gifted with unexpected chances of coincident channeled synchronicities. Beauty can come from nothing, even the most simplest things. These people who stay in this fear don't get to experience this. They get what they always get, what they think they want a tall glass of same, stagnant. But truly, the unease goes away after a while, and suddenly, it's very fun to let yourself guide yourself to be placed somewhere. New faces, new sounds, new souls. Have you ever been late to class and everyone stares at you as you walk to your seat? To leave your country to a country completely opposite of yours feels like being the new kid in class, but how beautiful is it to connect with another culture and share? How lovely is it to meet someone for an X amount of time and affect each other's lives forever? Good or bad perceptions, lessons to be had as a student and teacher of this life. All the eyes, smiles, seconds of exchange. How tasteful and fruitful is it to get random opportunities just because you decided to take that step into not knowing what would happen. The memories are golden, our tokens, kind of like tattoos on your skin that don't fade away. You start to make connections and see reflections of yourself. You fall in love with you and those you meet. And as you expand your horizons and tribes, you figure out that it's all fucking connected in this giant web of cosmic intervention. You start to meet mutual friends, create collab with cultures, share your energy, and in turn, get shared with you, becomes a part of you. You start to realize you're not from your country. You are from this planet. Home was right always underneath your feet and faith in your heart. The people you left to go into the unknown never left you, nor you them. Physically, you cannot see, but you exist beyond the physical. So there's this huge chain and strings all tied to not wanting to ever physically leave those you love. If you could, you would just bring them all. But it doesn't work like that. You can't make someone jump or walk away from everything that they know. They have to choose. Ah, good old desires, causing ourselves pain. Truth is, traveler's practice, one of the most important skills in life. We sharpen the art of letting go 
of not attaching and setting yourself free from the moments that you feel fast, slow. The eternal now is all we have. Although it seems like we had yesterday and we will have tomorrow. To lose all infinite possibilities just because you can't seem to be apart from that you wish to keep forever is to chain yourself to a rock for your whole life. We are beings of movement and change and growth. To be lost and clueless is a call to leave all that you know and enter the portal that will lead you where you must be. We write our own destiny as we walk through the void. Just as when it's time to leave your body, you have no choice but to trust and let go. New layers, levels, new frequencies, you'll want more frequently. But of course, all in balance, you may feel yourself needing to take a moment. Find yourself. Take your moment.